I wanted to go through all the things we did in class today. It was a very busy class. Um, when students are coming in, they picked up their entry ticket. This time it was a image with the structures uh, involved in protein synthesis. Uh, they filled that out and we very quickly uh, graded that and then submitted that just to give me a heads up where we were. Um, I then collected either the um, fun jumble puzzle from students who were doing well on some of the previous exit tickets. Um, all they had to do was follow the video, cut them up, try and arrange them. If they could take a photograph, that would be great. Um, otherwise, they could just cut them up and then bring them back into class, including the instructions in a Ziploc bag. Um, and then other students were assigned the PSVH, which is a protein synthesis video handout. They click this link right here and it'll take them to a short Amoeba Sisters video that will just be one more opportunity for review of transcription and translation. Um, I collected these things in class at the beginning today. Then we started making proteins. So we used these codon charts um, to pull the proper amino acids out. We did a silly uh, arm kind of flailing arm at horizontal, then arm vertical. And then we pointed to the last one just to remind ourselves that we have to go with the first nitrogen base goes horizontally. Then the second nitrogen base, we go find the column wherever the row and the column overlap. That means that we've actually got our amino acid in that quad. And then to figure out if it's the first, second, third, or fourth, we go to the far right where it says the third base. And whatever the nitrogen base is at that last position will determine whether it is the first, second, third, or fourth amino acid. Sometimes all the amino acids in that box are the same, but not always. So we did that using yesterday's worksheet. So yesterday's worksheet, uh, let's see, I don't have a copy of yesterday's worksheet, but we did um, a little quick graphic on yesterday's worksheet. Then we did the fairy tale where Donald and Ronald were an analogy for um, protein synthesis. Donald and Ronald are car makers. Um, we use the back of that sheet to make two of the four proteins. And then I had students pick a different codon chart that didn't have the amino acids. Instead, they just had the letter and they used the same procedure to come up with a secret message and then they turn that in. Um, so that got us to our two, three, or four proteins that needed to get made. And then they turned that work in. Um, then if class had time remaining, they could start or finish their gizmo. We started this gizmo, RNA and protein synthesis in Google Classroom uh, last week. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Um, and we did all of activity A and um, then classes will finish with activity B. It should be at the top of your gizmo when you go in. Um, it will not be this first one. It will be the RNA and protein synthesis gizmo. Um, and they're going to use their worksheets and finish up activity B and then the extension questions. Um, and then students got a mutation packet. The only thing I want them to do with that mutation packet is just to read the first page, just the first page. Um, it's uh, four paragraphs about sickle cell anemia, which is a really, really uncomfortable disorder to have that's caused by one amino acid, one nitrogen base being different. That is it. So um, the out the door plan, students needed to make two, three, or four proteins. They could have done that on that protein synthesis worksheet that they were given yesterday. Um, and the secret message, uh, they were a secret message and they were called ribosomes. We turned those in. If students got them done in class, they turned them in. However, there were a few students that needed a little bit more time so they could take that home with that little secret message decoder sheet. We had plenty to go around. And then you need to complete your gizmo for protein synthesis, um, RNA and protein synthesis gizmo. Last thing, read just page one of the sickle cell anemia handout and you are done. Take good care. Talk to you soon.